Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, African Gypsy. Uh, guys, I didn't think I was going to be back on this channel so fast, but you know what it's like when you've got a calling, when spirit gives you a specific message, you can't like hide away from it or stay away from it for too long. This is what happened with me. I posted the weekly psychic forecast for the week of the 9th till the 16th of November. I actually re I recorded it on Monday night, close to midnight. And I thought, oh, okay, no, it's too late to post it now. I'm going to post it in the morning. I still got a day before. Anyway, uh, it's due to be posted. But that night, I had a spiritual experience. I had a visit from... Um, some very low vibrational kind of people who came through and they were asking me, why did you post that reading? We don't want you to post that reading. So there's something in that read reading that they don't want you to know. Um, they sent some really low vibrational energies. I'm not even going to mention the names of those energies right here on my channel. Um, let me start off with a quick prayer. Archangels Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Ariel, thank you very much for making me a channel for these messages that come before you. And I ask that all those who are connected to my messages, to my channel, may they receive the message that they need to get. And I pray that the portal may be opened for a doorway of blessing to open up unto them. Let, me, let them get the divine wisdom and inspiration that they need at this time moving forward. I pray for divine protection from all four corners of the earth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is done. Right. So uh, in this vision, someone had been sacrificed and whoever it is who did the sacrificing did not want them to know. They thought that you didn't know that they'd made a, a, a vow with the dark side that they would deliver your soul. Why? Because you are a light worker, because you've got a bright light within you. You want to make changes in the world. You want to... Um, give uh, water to rural communities that don't have or you want to be a secret millionaire and bless other people's lives or you bless people with your words with your actions perhaps you're an artist a comedian and you bless other people uh, with the work that you do and these people did not want you to be in that light imagine how wasteful that dark side is they can want to destroy a whole lot of people just so that one person doesn't walk into the assignment so I had to be really strong and come out. I just did a little pre shuffle and first off what came up is stand your ground. I'm doing a reading today to pick up the energies that came up from Monday night. I'm going to go deeper with the spiritual intel, the stuff that the, they did not want you to know. So spirit is saying right off the bat, stand your ground. The decision that you made is valid, it's strong and don't even back down. If you decided to follow a certain path, to follow your light, to follow your inspiration, do not back down. Down, hold your positions. Hold your positions, guys. That's the spiritual intel that is starting us off. Let me get some more messages. Spirit, with that dream that you showed me, what do we need to know right now? It was an intense battle and being told that someone um, out there fought with the devil and they managed to conquer him. Thank you to Archangel Michael for coming through with that divine wisdom, for that victory. Ooh, okay, those are too many. Okay, you want to be read. Okay, I'll take this one out. So I'm getting, um, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. This is wise intel because there are times where you're like, okay, gosh, spirit with what you've revealed to me, I don't know what kind of a prayer I'm supposed to make. I don't know how I pray about this. Yes, I see the situation. I see the spiritual warfare. But what words do I use? How can this be a win-win situation? Because these people are obviously out for blood. They're going for the Jaguar. They want to totally annihilate you. They want to kill your vision, your dream. Your, they want to assassinate your character. You know, because the Bible always tells us, they shall not kill. But people are like, oh, well, I never took out a, a knife for a gun to anyone so it's not killing when you go around saying nonsensical shit about people you kill their name that is character assassination you kill a person's name you kill their vision you go forth to their destiny helpers you, you we send um, blockages in their in their life you cause delays so that their business is delayed their marriages are delayed you kill you still you destroy from people and you're like oh i never did anything like that so spirit is saying if for those of you for the, whom this message is for, don't pray for an outcome. Don't say, oh, Lord, smite my enemies. Yeah, I would like to do that. want to do a Psalms 91 on them right now. But you pray for the highest good of all. Say, Spirit, you know, you show me this battle. I thank you for it. And I thank you for the victory. Let this thing work out for the highest good of all those who are involved. So I'm going to start off with um, this deck right here. Let's see. What spiritual intel do we have for the collective? What are they standing the ground about? 
Ooh, okay, I'll take them. I'm going to do the layout differently today because it's a different kind of a message. So someone has to listen to the intuition because, yes, there is fight. There's that fight, that conflict that is coming up. And I feel for someone, there may be um, someone in your circles who try, is trying to cause conflict for you. But guess what? Right after the conflict, the justice has come in. Justice is going to be served in this situation. Spirit is on it. Your spirit guides are on it. Your ancestors, they're on it. And they're saying, you know what? Justice will be served. Karma will be served. Because that is the message that came up in the reading. You might want to go back. I'm going to drop the link for that reading I, I did for this week ahead. I mean, the week is not even over, guys. But I had to come back out here with an update. Hot spiritual intel. What they did not want you to know. They did not want you to know that justice is really going to come to you to them because this came up in the reading that I posted. Justice is coming in. Karma is coming to balance out that stuff. They're going to be forced to have to take a different direction from what they had taught, from what they had promised to the dark side. They had promised that they would totally annihilate you or even your offspring, but that is not going to happen. In this dream, these people were singing... Um, you know, even church songs. So this is someone you may be dealing with someone who's got a religious demon where they can preach and pray and sing until the cows come home, but their mind is not clean. Their spirit is not clean. They're just hiding behind what everyone else is doing to hide the really deep, dark, deep, dark shady secrets that they've got going on. So what is this conflict about? Let's find out. What is their motivation for this conflict? Give us that intel spirit. It's about your intuition and how you're no longer confused about which way you want to go about your life. Perhaps you've chosen a certain spiritual path or a career path. You've decided to go for that promotion. You've decided to go for that marriage. You've decided to go for those things that they've always told you you can't do. And these people, I feel, with you protecting your, thro your crown chakra there and the crown up in the air they, and all of this, they're trying to affect your emotions. They're trying to come through in your dreams in some way with this conflict, sending deities and entities of all sorts into your dream world. And these people are trying to affect the way you think. In this dream that I had, uh, there was a part where someone was trying to pour uh, hot water in someone's ear. So this is telling me, yes, they did resort to a very um, Shakespearean murder kind of motive, um, M.O. modus operandi. If you ever read Macbeth where Macbeth's father was killed by having poison poured into his ear, in this dream for me, this is representing that they were trying to poison your mind. They were trying to corrupt your mind so that you don't see which way to go. You'll be confused about which direction you need to take, even though you've already got your, your strong wand and you're already seeing a new day breaking for you and you're wondering which way you want to go. Maybe you're thinking of getting a, a vehicle to take you somewhere. This doesn't have to be like a physical vehicle. It could be like a job, a course that you want to take up so these people are trying to corrupt your mind tell me more about this conflict right here but do you see the truth spirit has been kind to you and you've seen the truth i know the month of november being scorpio season the night life has been lit guys the dreams have been lit they've been off the hook you know because um scorpio is associated with secrecy shadow work deep things and you've been doing your shadow work you've been moving forward and you see the truth of, you've seen the truth already of what you need to get to cut off and with Scorpio season, that's also um, strongly connected with the occult. So you may be dealing with someone, this is not just some basic witchcraft at work. Someone may actually be dabbling in deeper, darker occultism, some sort of Satanism, some sort of a cult that they've joined. Yes, I've done my protection already before I sent this message out. And uh, damn it, if they're already going to come to me that way before I've even posted this other reading, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to be like Jonah when you are sent to Nineveh in the Bible. Or tell you to go to Tashish, even though I, I did, I was tempted, guys, a few minutes ago. I was like, oh, no, no, guys, I know, Spirit, I'll just do a little quick reel on Instagram instead. And Spirit was like, no, God was like, no, sunshine, you go out there and you deliver this message. So you're seeing the truth about the justice coming in, and people are fighting because you've decided to change the direction you wanted to go in. They wanted you to be confused and stuck, especially about your finances, about your stability, about your light about the bright idea that Spirit is giving. Because in my reading, I did speak about you getting divine, um, a divine idea coming through to you about how you need to go about things. Let me get from a different deck right here. Let me use uh, this one. I, this one doesn't come out often. Tell me more. What, what is this coming up? What do we need to know about the change of direction? Thank you. 
two messages have come out. So they wanted dominion over you. They wanted to dominate your life. This is like the classic narcissist who finally go to some place and they're given a little thing and they told you, you know what, the way you like controlling, use this little thing here and you can tell it's someone, no, Hazel, go this way. Michelle, go that way. Stop there. No, don't do anything. Imagine what would happen. I always talk about this. If an narcissist got hold of some dark spell or dark magic to help them enact and play out their control. That is the energy we're dealing with. They wanted dominion over your life. That's why they're fighting you. Let's get that into focus. And they wanted to ruin your life. They wanted to ruin everything that you're working so that people think that you're an underachiever. Yet that is not the actual, the actual uh, thing that's playing out. They are stunting your growth. They wanted to cause blockages. But spirit came to you and said, no, thus far and no further. Tell me more, spirit. What else do we need to know right now about this? We've got a lot of people there. So far, we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. You might have nine characters who are working jointly or separately to try and bring you down. This message is very intense, guys. One, 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 as I say that. And we're in the one, 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 one portal today, the 11th of November, as I'm recording this message. So this is true. You're on the right spiritual track. That's why you need to stand your ground, guys. Right. Let's find out. They didn't want you to know this stuff. There are a lot of people involved. This is a very intense message, guys. This is not like my usual type of messages. And they didn't see you coming, but your intuition told you that there's a new cycle that has to play out. And the water behind this representing your intuition speaking to you. You're standing on a strong foundation. You are that stone that the builders refused, but you actually end up being a very important and pivotal part of the puzzle. So they wanted to dim your light because they'd made vows and they thought that you'd never know. They've, some of you, them have been using mirror magic, candle magic. They've taken your clothes. Some of them have stepped on your shadow, walked behind you and stepped on your shadow to try and suppress your power to make you less than what you're supposed to be. What has your intuition been telling you about this here? This is a specific message, guys. Um, I don't usually like to do these dramatic messages like that. You know, I like to keep things real light, but um, this is not my choice to come out with this message. But um, part of the calling is being obedient because you're told obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah. They know that you're a magician. I mean, you you have the power to pull down things from the 3D and bring them here into this world. And you take action um, towards the things that you want. Here we have an ancient cave in the background. You've been sent by your spirit guides, maybe from, from past lifetimes, to do what you're doing, to answer your calling and step in alignment with your assignment for this lifetime. And they try to slow you down. They say, you know what, I'll go and try and stop this person. They kind of like dribble that ball out of Susan's um, 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 foot. They dribble it from between her feet. They don't want you to be happy. What is the motivation of these people who did this dark magic? This dark magic, they sent the entities. This was on Monday night. What was their motivation? They know that you know the truth. And they tried to stop me from bringing out the truth of that reading. They wanted you to stay in isolation. You know, in the Bible, we're told that at the end of days, man's heart shall have grown cold. And Nostradamus does talk about the zombie apocalypse where people's hearts have grown cold and instead of feeling sorry for you, instead of feeling love for you, their hearts have been replaced by cold stone. And that's what it was. They sent you on a very terrible mission here with a lot of obstacles and a lot of burdens and you didn't see where it was coming from. They tried to get the sun and the moon and nature to conspire against you. And you know what? I feel like these people are refusing to take responsibility for what they've been doing to you, for the burdens they've put upon your life. With two tens coming out, this is telling me that that cycle is over, which is why this message had to come out. This very important message had to come out on this day of 11-11. And you're bossing up with this coming out. You're bossing up. You've taken back power, taken back control of your life. You've done the shadow work. You've uh, re revised your methods. You've gone back and re assessed your life, your goals, and where you wanted to go. And that is why they came in in such a haste to try and stop you before you go any further. Because this did come up in the reading I posted. Yeah. 
And you know, yes, you are the wounded warrior. They've caused you so many wounds. For some of you, they've taken away things from you physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. Some of you, they've taken your jobs away. They've delayed your promotions. They've delayed your income. For some of you, they've taken your families away from you. And in the place of loving people, they've put stone cold statues who are not moved by your circumstance and are unable to feel any love for you. Everyone's situation is different. It will play out differently, but you're the wounded warrior, but you have succeeded. Here you are riding through and getting all this admiration and respect of the community. People say, oh gosh, how did you survive that battle? We knew that they had waged a spiritual warfare against you. How did you survive that? But you have succeeded. How are you succeeding in this battle? How have you managed to conquer? Oh, you know, the tower is coming out for this. But yeah, like I said, some people took your family from you. This is like family relations. Some people, they took your love from you, your partner. They took your business. They took a business connection away from you. They tried to delay it. But you know what? God does not fall asleep like we mortal men do. They wanted you to be left out in the cold, to be isolated. They spoke uh, about you. They spread rumors about you so that no one would want to work with you. They wanted you to be in the valley of the shadow of death. Yet you shall not fear because his rod and his staff are there with you to comfort you and guide you. Some of these people have been doing some sort of necromancy, raising up the dead to try and fight you. Some of these people have been going to graveyards to do some sort of magic for you. Yes, this is a confirmation. Yes, they've been going to the graveyard to do some sort of magic against you. You know, with all these lockdowns that have been happening globally, sometimes you've been wondering, but why is so-and-so so bent on going to all these funerals? You know, there's a lockdown, they're restricting numbers of people going to funerals, but they will go against all odds because when everyone else is saying, you know, rest in peace and dust to dust, they're putting your name on a piece of paper they put it together with the flowers that they brought and they chuck it in any random stranger's grave to try and bury your dreams alive. But God is saying, you know what, not anymore because justice has come in. Archangel Michael has risen up with Archangel Gabriel and said, enough is enough. You will make those connections. You are going to be respectable. You are going to be upright and honest. You are going to be extremely successful in the business. So go ahead, child. Start that business. Do that course. Change your hairstyle. Change your wardrobe. Go ahead and do whatever it is that Spirit has laid on your heart to freaking do. Because you are not going to be stopped. You're, oh, oh gosh. Oh, Spirit, thank you very much. Thank you. Double confirmation because your wishes are coming through and you are healing. They can't believe that you've healed after all the things that they've put you through. They can't believe that you're still expecting good things to come through for you. After all that they did for you, they kind of like, hey, Spirit, oh, you dark people, why is my insurance policy walking around? I'd say that this person should be dead so that I could succeed. But Spirit has said, no. This is help from the divine, divine intervention that's come through to make your wishes come true. And look at this, there's lights at the end of the tunnel. You are that freaking light at the end of the tunnel. You're guided, you're protected. On the night that I had the dream, I had the dogs barking as well. And most people are like, oh no, dogs are just barking in the neighborhood. Chill, child. It's not just dogs barking. Dogs and cats are far more spiritual than most of us. And they can tell when dog entities have entered a neighborhood. They're trying to wake your sleepy ass up and say, you know, wake up and pray. Wake up and do your cleansing. Wake up and burn that sage. There's a bad energy that's there. And when these things happen, you hear the dogs barking like in a sequence. The ones nearby, and then it moves. The ones nearby stop. The ones further on start. The ones further on stop. And you can tell that the entity has moved far away back into the direction that it came from. After that, there is silence as you're praying. Guys... I, I, yeah, I, I almost ran away from delivering this message, but I, I'm not a runner. No, I've been called for this. You no, know, from past lifetimes, I'm ready for this. I was created for that, and I'm stepping into my purpose as you are. And you're saying, I'm putting away childish things. I'm putting away childish thoughts. Look at this girl, this woman, putting away her dolls and saying, I'm putting away the childish ways and replacing them with the more mature ways. I'm not going to think as I thought when I was a child. When I was a child, I thought that... Um, everything was okay, everyone was alright, but now I'm putting away those childish thoughts. 
I'm putting away whatever tools that the enemy was using, whether they were voodoo dolls that they were using to try and hold you down. And I'm releasing and burning away anything that no longer serves me as I take a different path, which is what you are doing, my beloveds. Right. Let's find out a little bit more. Let's get another deck right here. What else does the Spirit want you to know right here? Clear, concise messages, please, for the collective. Thank you. Look at you. You're looking beautiful. You're confident. You're taking action towards your dreams coming true. You are not going to be stopped by anything. This card today is kind of like remember, reminding me of the solar flares coming up. Uh, if you've been reading up on what's happening with the geomagnetic forces and all of that. Solar flares affecting power with power outages around most parts of the world. You are harnessing your power. The two sets of hands right there, and you have the help of spirits to help you to rise up to a new level, to take action and close off a very powerful freaking chapter. Here we've got Neptune coming in. Your dream life has come alive to show you which way you need to go, how you need to continue to be confident. And look at this for the third time. The stars come uh, come out twice with the nine of cups. That's a wish fulfillment. Three times confirmed. Your wishes are coming true and you've got the help of spirit of the divine coming true to help you to close off this very painful chapter. They've done a lot. You know, there are people that you ask like, how far did you go? I know you hate me, but how far have you gone with your hatred? How far did you go? What depths did you go to to try and bury my dreams alive? Spirit has revealed, you know, they thought they were doing things in the darkness without anyone seeing, but there was a witness. Spirit was there seeing everything the whole time. And your wishes are still coming through regardless of the battle they try to wage against you. Yes, it has been a battle and they might not stop for a while. Let's see what will cause them to finally stop this battle. You already have the victory. Justice has come in. Justice looking at the all the chaos and confusion they're trying to bring into your life. Yeah, guys, I know you liked it when I show my face, but today, no, I, I, I was just like, no, I don't feel like putting on makeup. I'm, I'm, I'm not in those. I, I'm standing in prayer, and I'm, 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 I'm just not in, in that frame of mind. But I needed to get the message across, so I had to put my ego aside to bring through a very important warning. Shots fired right here. And that's the truth. When they brought in those entities, shots were fired. But you know what? Spirit is being so cheeky today. It's true what I've just said. But you're still getting your wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is coming twice again. And you're still getting that job. You're getting that promotion. You're getting that business. You are getting that money that they didn't want you to get. Because money does answer most matters. Because when you've got money... You can bless other people with your money. You can pay another child's fees to go to school. You can buy your favorite uh, reader, healer, prophet, prophetess, a laptop or a car or buy them a house because you've been blessed with money enough to do that. And they wanted to stop up all those blessings because you're not like um, a little pond that keeps water. You're a, a waterfall of blessing. When you're blessed, other people are blessed. Can you see how there's the flowing water right there? This water is not stagnant. And you're not stagnant water. That's why God wants to bless you. You are not stagnant water. You are fluid. And they wanted to bl block up all of that. You know, the kind of people who can raise up things on such a large scale. I'm going to be very guarded about how I'm going to put this across. Just to stop one person. If you've been collecting money from a certain bank, they want to collapse that whole banking system just to make sure that you don't get to be blessed. And you don't get to bless other people. How destructive is that? Sometimes people don't see the cause and the effect of the things that they do. They don't see the broader picture, the grand picture of how they affect so many other people. But look at this. They've now been hurt. Look at this person shocked. And, oh, look at the shock on their face. Let me get that into focus. Look at the shock on their face. Like, oh my gosh, I've also gotten hurt from this sword I've been carrying. This character right here. They've been waging war against you and getting a whole lot of other people involved in the war. It could have been come in terms of prayer requests like, Oh, Brother John, please help us pray for Sister Martha. Sister Martha has lost her way. And this is not what it is at all. It's not a prayer request. It's a gossip session. It's a slander on your character. It's a character assassination attempt on a grand scale. 
but they're now surprised that they've gotten hurt by what they've been doing because justice has come in. Look at the sword of justice right there. Now, we talk about justice and peace. Sometimes there can be no peace without justice, and God is bringing the justice today. This is no joker business. What has hurt this person? Let's find out a little bit. Let's get that intel on what is happening to this person who's waged this war against you. How dare they? How dare they wage a battle against the Lord's anointed? How dare they try and stop up someone who's so blessed, who is such a waterfall of blessing to other people? How dare they do that? What is going to happen to this person here? Their world has come crashing down on them. That world is done. They've failed to deliver and they will not deliver. Just watch yourselves in the next 24 hours with this portal of 1111. 1111, yeah, okay. I thought I'd say too many ones. I got two, uh, 555, as I say, that there's change coming in. Their world is going to come crashing in and they're going to be so shocked. This is a tower moment for them. Yeah, look at this. They've been captured in their own nets trying to fish out God's anointed, God's people, trying to stop them from focusing on their dreams. I really wanted to bring out a whole love and light kind of reading like I usually do, but spirits is just say to me, you know what? We're channeling here with Archangel Michael and sometimes we get real freaking cheeky up in here when people keep on messing with people who are supposed to be blessed and a blessing to the world. They thought they were going to be very stable and dependable using your own resources. And you try and access your resources and your money, all you get is access denied. But you've been doing prosperity prayers, you've been doing your affirmations, you've had other more anointed men and women praying over your finances, and they are worried. They are worried. The seeds that they sowed, this was the chat with the, the title of, 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 of the reading I posted this week. Their harvest of thorns is ready. For them, this is a harvest of thorns. And they're worried that they've sown so many bad seeds. And if now karma is coming in, how are they going to get dressed? You're nestled nicely and nicely protected by the hedge of prayer. And they've lost their juggle. They've lost their juggle. That is what it is. That is exactly what it is. Spirit, what else do we need to know right now here? What is our wish fulfillment right here? Because the wish fulfillment came in a number of times. Okay, let's use this, these goals right here. We're standing our ground and we're not praying for an outcome. We're not saying, slay them, almighty Lord, and defeat them with your power. Like, let your will be done. Kulungile Baba Kulungile it is well. That is what that song means. It is well. It is well with your soul, my child. It is well with your soul. It is well with your destiny and your business and your relationship. There's some folk out there that you'd never ever picture dabbling in dark stuff. But, yeah. Ooh, my cards are turned over. Okay, let me put them the right way. What is our wish fulfillment coming in here? Bossing up, like I said on, on, on the reading. Your, it is your, your wish to boss up, to take back your power from all past timelines, past, present, and future, and stand in your true power. Harness all your power and be at peace with all the zodiac signs, at peace with the whole world, because everyone falls under any one of these zodiac signs. It is your wish fulfillment to be a success. To be lifted up, to be acknowledged. But look at this year, that one shadow character hasn't done their shadow work. Fool, silly fool. He's looking down. He cannot stand to see you boss the fuck up. They can't stand to see you happy, but you're going to that happy time. You're going to get so many invitations to so many happy occasions. A lot of cooperation. This is what they're getting. Death. I know some of you have been praying for the death of your enemies, but no, let's not do that, guys. I know the Bible does, does say that I shall not suffer or allow a witch to live, but um, 
no, we're going to pray for the highest good of all. But for some of the, them, they're going to go through spiritual death. Some of them is financial death, loss of a job. Some of them is emotional death. Some of these people are already dead in their hearts. They're soulless and cold-hearted. Yeah, left out in the cold. Merchants of destruction and chaos. There we go. I saw the tower coming up. The tower is coming in. They were hiding up in the tower, butt naked and working all sorts of mischief and malicious mischief at that. God has rolled in the storm and kicked them out of that tower. Because they've been so jealous, spiteful, envious. Trying to cause you, my beloved, to be left for dead. But that cycle is over. All of that mischief is over. An angel has come to open up a doorway with a portal coming up here to make sure that you shall live and live more abundantly. He who digs a hole shall fall in it. If they had been wishing you well, then they know that well is coming towards them. If they wished death on you, I'm just hearing many men, many, many, many men wish death on you. Yeah, but that's what's coming towards them in the Scorpio season. Now they're going to see that you were a wish, wish, oh, missed opportunity. They see that you were handed to them on a platter. You were supposed to be their blessing. But they're so busy drinking other cheap wines, being a rat, rat, right there. And now they think, oh, I wish I treated them better. I wish I'd recognized who they were. You did. And some of them were told not to carry on cursing you, but they did not listen. They did not listen. They were so hell-bent on your destruction that reason fled away from them. And an and insistent madness of evil and vengeance took over their very souls. And they allowed it. They allowed it. What is this tower? The tower is, you know, the karma is to see you prosper. In so many different ways. And that's the tower moment, the shock that you still managed to be alive. You healed after what they put you through. You rose up again and you continue to be blessed because you have forgiven them. Not because you're cool with what you did. Forgiveness is not by any means about being cool with what happened to you. It's about saying, you know what, I need my prayers to be answered. And because of that, I need to release this. I'm on my knees. I'm praying for a release, for, a, for recovery, for a fresh new start. And forgive them as you forgive me so that I can be blessed and be, become a blessing to the world in turn. They didn't know who they were dealing with. They just didn't know that. Forgive me if I've been swearing through this reading today. Uh, some of these guides here, uh, they swear like barmaids, like bartenders in a cheap ni um, night nightclub. And here you are. Charging in with the truth. The truth came running in for you and you've got wisdom coming in and you're like, who goes there? Show thyself. You've been hiding in the shadows for too long. Show thyself. Swiftly, judgment will be meted up on them. For some of you, they try to stop you from coming together with your twin flame or your soulmate. It doesn't have to be in love only. It could be a friendship. It could be a business partner. They try to block all of that. And their tower moment is the shock of seeing that you are going towards that. And you've got the clarity, child. You're no longer confused, Felicia. You know exactly what you need to do because you're on your knees praying and you're listening to your intuition. And that is true. You may be dealing with Gemini energy as well. Some of, you wanted to, some of them wanted to send you a succubus and incubus to contaminate your spirit even though you're saying you're a taste. That's true. It's the truth right there. Your intuition is spot on. They wanted to try and block that out by sending a succubus or an incubus. Some of you, they didn't want you to know your value. That's why the dream came through about trying to poison you through your ear, trying to contaminate your mind, child, trying to make you not see your true light and who you're supposed to really be. That's not going to work anymore. 
thus far and no further. We're not praying for bad things to happen to these people. We're just saying, Lord, let it work out for the highest good of all those involved. Let it work for the highest good of all those involved, Lord. I'm not praying for an outcome anymore. I tried doing that, but I feel like it could be a soulish prayer, you know, a prayer that is not good. Here you are, stable, dependable. Listen to your intuition, turning your back on something that you no, no longer serves you because you see the truth and you're going towards peace, the white bird. Here we go. Waiting for your ships to come in. And when those haters come in, you're like, just back the fuck off. Don't you come here accusing me and trying to prod me and trying to put a horseshoe on me to saddle me up and put a bridle on me. Put blinkers on me that I don't see which other way to go. I'm going to stand my ground. That's what stand your ground is all about. Yeah, some of you, the dreams you're having these days are giving you revelations about people that you never thought were involved in any sort of dark stuff or trying to just have the evil I am trying to bring you down. Let's get some <sighs> advice from spirit. Oh, this is intense, guys. Oh, guys, spirit. What advice do we have from spirit here? Again, this came out on the reading I posted, the last reading I posted. The one with the title, The Harvest of Thorn is Ready. The universe has got your back. And your fearless freedom lights up the world. Some of you have been shackled for too long. But when your freedom comes in, you help the whole world. You hold up a light to the whole world. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. And they were trying to mess with your mind so that you're thinking constantly about the problems and you, money, you manifest a lot more of that, but you're out of that energy. Guys, I'm just going to end this reading right here. This is just too intense. But um, I thank Spirit that I didn't run away from delivering this message for whoever this message is for. I wish you love, I wish you light, I wish you so much healing. You will overcome, you will conquer. The victory is already there, the justice has already come in. Take care, guys.